Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to be here with you today to show you my makeup favorites of 2018. Yes, that's right, and I'm so excited about this because I don't have to pan anything I'm going to be showing you. These are the products I truly use and enjoy and feel like they help me look my best. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, whether you're 30 plus, 40 plus, 50 plus, 60 plus, etc., then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you by email of my future twice weekly videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate that so much. And I'm going to be okay. showing you these products in the order that I would apply them to my face. And the first thing I start with is sunblock, which I covered in my skincare video, which I'll link below. But the second thing I use is my smash Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer, and this is very grubby looking. Sorry about that, but I use it every day. I use this primarily in my T-zone. It goes on kind of like a cream powder. It's kind of an odd feeling thing, but I put it pretty much right in my T-zone where I do tend to have very large pores. I feel like it really does smooth out my skin and it helps my makeup adhere better. And my second primer that I've been using and enjoying a lot during this past year is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. And you just take it out, just dab a little bit on your finger here. I usually do it on my third finger. I can't get it out there. There it is. And you just rub that together on your third finger and then just smooth it across your eyelids up to your eyebrow. It just smooths out the little fine lines and wrinkles and helps your eyeshadow really stay put. Now the third product that I apply to my face is of course my foundation, and I have two of them here. The first is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I absolutely love this one. It gives my face about a medium to full coverage. You can build it up. It smooths out the fine lines and wrinkles and just makes my skin have a beautiful, even palette to adhere the rest of my makeup. And my second foundation that I use and enjoy is a drugstore bargain, and it is wonderful. In fact, it's what I have on my skin right now. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and I use it in the color 128, which is called Warm Nude. Absolutely love this foundation. It does very much what the Too Faced foundation does, but for a lot less in terms of funds. It just kind of smooths out your skin, really does kind of fill in the pores and the fine lines and wrinkles, and I absolutely love this one. It wears all day and looks great. Now, next I apply my concealer under my eyes and a little bit around my nose and on my chin there. And what I, of course, love is the Tarte Shape Tape. This is wonderful. It's a full coverage concealer, and I don't know how they do it, but it does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles, and it wears like a workhorse all day long. But this is a little pricey. I think it's around $27. And I recently found almost a perfect dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape in this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer absolutely love this one too quite honestly i probably prefer this one a little more just since i've used it for so long i'm very used to it but if you're looking at your budget this is a great option and really produces about the same effect great full coverage without emphasizing fine lines and wrinkles now i'm a little out of order here i should have mentioned this along with the foundations and do not look at this this is so grubby but i use this all the time every single day i use this this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, and it says long lasting, and it truly is. And what I do is I dot the foundation all over my face, and then I use my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush, and I spray seven sprays of this Urban Decay All Nighter on it. And what I do is I use this brush to spread the foundation neatly all around my face and neck, and it gives me a smooth, flawless finish, and it helps my foundation last all day long. And for my brows, I actually have a high end and a low end option. In terms of the high end, I use this Anastasia Brow Definer in Taupe. And as you can see, oh, it's got a little spoolie on one end. But as you can see, it is a wonderful amount of product that is on that end there. Their little definer product is just little wispy hairs, but this fills in more completely, which I really do prefer this. And then I follow up with this NYC Control Freak, which is the best product I found for keeping the brows in place. And if you'd like a more cost-effective option, I absolutely love this little Revlon Color Stay pencil. It's absolutely wonderful. It's in the color soft brown, and it has exactly the same type of triangular tip that the Anastasia product does. It has the spoolie on the other end, and it works beautifully too. Now, in terms of eyeshadow palettes, it was so hard because I have a gazillion of them, it looks like, and I absolutely love my eyeshadow palettes. But the one I've been using the most recently is this Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I absolutely adore this palette, and you can tell by how it is being used up there. 
I absolutely love this for under the brow, on the lid, and then this in the crease. Maybe this darker shade underneath as an eyeliner or maybe stay with that lighter brown color. And if you're looking for a neutral day-to-day -day palette, I can't recommend this highly enough. Not only does it have about all the neutral colors you would need, it has a few shimmers to help round out the look. Now, in terms of a drugstore option, I found this a little bit hard, and that's because I really don't think the drugstore shadows in general do as well as the more high-end, especially the Too Faced shadows. They're so highly pigmented with not a lot of fallout, and what I find with drugstore shadows in general is that the pigmentation really isn't there as much as the higher-end shadows, and they probably do that on purpose because when you're kind of a new person at makeup or a novice, you don't want highly pigmented shadows because you can get them on and not get them off. So so that's probably why the drugstore shadows just don't carry the color punch in general of some of the higher end shadows. But there was one particular palette that I think if you're looking for a drugstore option, this is a fabulous palette. It's their Contour Light and Shade Palette and it's a dupe for this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette almost an exact dupe. I did a video maybe a year ago that was about this palette compared to this palette, and I think this is just as good and in some cases better than its original palette. It has all the same colors because it's really kind of an exact dupe. These are absolutely beautiful colors, and I particularly love this palette because it has a cool tone, a warm tone, and kind of a medium tone. Really, you could get just about any neutral eye look you want out of this palette at a bargain price. Now we're into blushes, and I absolutely love blushes. There is nothing that wakes up your face like the perfect blush color. Now, I have both a high-end and a low-end option, and I actually did a video about the Chanel Joux Contrast Blushes. These are phenomenal. I have absolutely loved these, and I tend to be kind of a drugstore girl, but I go after these day after day because I really feel that not only are the colors beautiful, they're very, very natural, but that's not what I'm wearing today. This is actually a great drugstore option. This is the Maybelline Master Blush Palette, and I'll tell you about that in just a few minutes. I am wearing one of the Maybelline colors right there. But here are the Chanel Joux Contrast Blushes. And let's see here. Okay, there is a very, very natural one, and that was the first one I ever got. It's in the color 370 Elegance, and it's a little more expensive, but it does come with a little mirror here and a nice little blush brush, which I do use. Absolutely a neutral, perfect color that just gives you that natural looking blush, no matter if you're a cool tone or a warm tone skin. But I've really been using this one even more. This is the Joux Contrast Blush by Chanel in Rose Ecran. And I love this because it's got a little bit of that pinky rose color that I absolutely adore. I wish I could show this to you on, but I thought the Maybelline better match the lips that I have on today. And if you're in the market for that perfect blush and you don't care if it's a little high end, I can't recommend the Chanel Joux Contrast Blushes highly enough. Now, if you're in the market for a drugstore option blush, this is a wonderful palette and I absolutely love it. This is the Maybelline Master Blush Palette, and look at what all you get for under $10, certainly. You've got a wonderful little highlighter here, little pinky highlighter, very pretty. You have a nice little peachy tone blush, a nice little pinky tone blush, and then a deep, dark, plum, dramatic color. Look at the color payoff you get and all the wonderful colors that you get in this palette. No matter what your skin tone, there's something for everyone here in this palette. And I happen to have on this pinky little color here today. I thought it looked beautiful with this lipstick. Absolutely a beautiful blush with a little bit of shimmer. All of them have just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of shimmer. But I think that little extra bit of shimmer just gives us more grown-up women a little bit of added color payoff. Now I always love a little added contour and highlighter, and I've got three products to show you which are all of my faves. The first is this Kevin Aquan Contour Book Volume 2, and look at those fantastic colors. You have the Kevin Aquan Highlighter and Contour in a cream formula up top, and then in the second row there you have the same highlighters and contours in a nice powdered formula. Absolutely love this one. This is his iconic candlelight highlighter, which I absolutely love. And then you also have some eyeshadows down here and a little eyeshadow highlighter as well. I really love this palette because not only is it great highlighters and contours, it also offers a full eye of eyeshadow, which is very economical. And another mid-range option that I really enjoy as well is the Smashbox Contour Palette here. It has a contour, a bronzer, and a little highlighter. Absolutely beautiful, very, very wearable colors. There they are, look at that. Absolutely a beautiful little highlighter. 
followed by the bronzer and the contour. I think this is a universal palette that can be worn by most skin tones. It even comes with a great little brush and this is a wonderful brush and I do use it to apply the contours because it is great. Not only does it have great colors, but it also gives you a little easy step-by-step -step here in case you've forgotten. Absolutely a great mid-range highlighter contour option. Now, if you're looking for a drugstore highlighter, you can't beat this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Absolutely love this product because it's super, super natural. And for those of us who are more grown up and really just dipping our toes into highlighters, this is a fabulous one because you can't overdo it. One of the ways I like to use this is to just stroke this over my blush just to give myself a little extra sparkle. And so here we go. We'll just do that. Let me look in my mirror here. And you see, it just gives you the most natural, natural glow absolutely beautiful. And even if you're mostly a high-end girl, I think you'll truly love this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Now my next two products go back to the eyes, and these are my eyeliners that I absolutely love. The first is this Julep Eyeliner in Rich Brown. I love this. It's a gel pencil liner, very easy to apply, goes on beautifully smoothly, totally easy to operate on this liner. And this is like my third pencil, and it's about gone, so I purchased another one. And here it is in the color Rich Brown absolutely love that color. It's the perfect brown. And for many of us, as we get to be a little more grown up, a black eyeliner can be a little too harsh. And so going to a rich brown color can be a great option. And if you're into liquid liners and not the gel sticks, then this Kat Von D tattoo liner is fabulous. In fact, when I went into Sephora, maybe two years ago, I asked them for an easy eyeliner and several different employees said this stick was absolutely the most wonderful. It has a little head on it there, a little brush. It just goes on easily and effortlessly and smoothly. If you like to make a little bit of a wing at the end, it's very easy to do that with this liner. This color is in black, but I've also got it in brown. And whenever I want a little more extra drama, I go to this tattoo liner. Now let's get into mascaras and I have two great ones for you. The first is a higher end, the Stella Huge Extreme Lash. And the second is a drugstore that's about as inexpensive as you can go. And this is the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And they both do the same thing. They give you great length and also fluff out your lashes to where they almost look like extensions. Now this is the mascara that I use on a daily basis and I have it in the large size and the travel size. Absolutely great. It lengthens and builds your lashes and really fluffs them up and it truly does give them huge dramatic volume. It has a great little brush head there that really builds those lashes up. And the wonderful thing about it is it rarely ever flakes and it lasts all day. And I have people thinking that I have lash extensions when all I have is the Stila Huge Volume. Now, if you want your lashes to have huge, dramatic, extreme volume, the Essence Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara is absolutely wonderful. It's not quite as great as the Stila, but it is pretty darn good. And there it is. It has a nice little more basic looking head, but this mascara is thick and dark and it plumps up your lashes and it lasts all day long. Now, if you have something on your face you'd like to cover that even the Tarte Shape Tape doesn't quite do the trick with, then I can't recommend this Dermablend concealer highly enough. This is their Quick Fix Concealer and there it is. I guess I should take off the lid for you. There it is and it is an absolutely wonderful full coverage product and I do use it under my eye because I guess it's this side. I'm still dealing with my Mohs incision. It's almost gone, but this really helps it look nearly invisible. Absolutely love this. And all of us from time to time have brown spots, red veins, or other things we'd like others not to be able to see. And if you want to null it out to where it's invisible, get this Dermablend Concealer. Now let's wind down with some lip products and I absolutely love my lipsticks. And this is what I've been wearing almost all year long, almost every single day. And it's very high end. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in the color Pillow Talk, which is an iconic color that really works for all skin tones. Sorry, it's such a nub, but I'm about to have to order my third tube. And I think it's $32, so that's not too much fun. But I absolutely love this color. I'm not wearing it now, but I'll try to find a picture that I can show you of how it looks in another video so you can really see how beautiful this color is. If you're looking for a nude lipstick, and for the longest time I was nude challenged because I thought none of them looked too good on me, this Pillow Talk is absolutely beautiful. It's a universal nude that anyone can wear. Now I have two absolutely wonderful drugstore options that I found in the past year. Love them. The first is a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't feel horrible on your lips. It's not horribly drying. It's the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip. 
absolutely love this one. And the color that I'm wearing now is called Dose of Rose, and it looks like I need to reapply. I've been really hard on my lips today, and I put this on early this morning. There we go, that's how that color looks. Absolutely beautiful. And it comes in a full array of other colors from very nude to very dramatic reds. These colors go on smoothly, the application is easy, the color payoff is fantastic, and the colors are long lasting. Now the last lipstick I'm going to show you, I love these two and I have almost every color. These are the L'Oreal Colorie Shine lipsticks. These are absolutely beautiful and they look very high end, even though I think they're seven or eight dollars, but look at that gorgeous crystal looking tube. And here it is in one of my favorite colors, which is called Varnished Rosewood. And as you can see, I've used that quite a lot. It's a wonderful rosy neutral that really looks good on just about everyone. The formula of these lipsticks is absolutely dreamy. They go on with a great color payoff, but they're smooth and soft and silky on your lips. They last a long time and make you look beautiful for hours. Well, that was a look at my makeup favorites for 2018. I was so excited to share them with you. And if you're interested in seeing more about the products I use and enjoy on a daily basis, I'll have an empties video coming up soon. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see what a 40 plus, 50 plus, uh, now 60 plus woman uses to look her best, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you an email on my future twice weekly videos. And I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been using these Melody Beatty cards called The Language of Letting Go, and as those of you who follow my channel know, I have lots of problems with my adult kids. I love them to death, and they're doing great, but I always think that mother's help can help them a little more, so I have to learn to let go and let them live their own lives. Okay, ooh, this is a good one. Confiding in a friend. Confiding in a friend. That sounds a little dangerous. Today I will remember that it's okay to talk about the issues that bother me. It's by sharing these concerns that I will move beyond them. I will trust myself to choose the best confidant possible, someone who will not use my disclosures against me and who will give me healthy feedback. Oh friends, I love this card and it is so realistic because although it's important for us to share details about our lives with a good friend, it's important to choose those confidants very carefully because first and foremost, we need to think about our own safety and we need to think about who in our lives it is safe to share these kind of details with. There have been a couple of times in my past where I've shared some details with some people that, that really were not trustworthy and it came back to bite me. So friends, let's remember that while it's important to share details about our lives with others, it's important to choose our confidants wisely. Take care. See you next time.